rock. I know you are worried about finding the van. I have put the local authorities such as they are on notice, and the unit is en route. They should be at Sonderdash before you reach Prospero. I'll keep you advised of developments. Stay safe, but get those insurgents rock. Preliminary intel suggests they've hired a real piece of work. Former Marine too, self-proclaimed captain, Regis Lim. He doesn't take prisoners, so you don't worry about taking any of his men prisoner yourself. The other thing was I'm feeling the urge to make a house rule for the first time in a long time. And it's not because of how the game system works. It's because of how somebody chose to write the skills. So if you look, a lot of them say, if you fail, the definition or the outcome is you failed, suffer the consequences. And I think that's just fine. But a lot of them describe critical failure or they're a suggestion to the game master to hit you with mm -hmm. a, a negative consequence because you failed uh and i find that i find that to be problematic um that failure you know we're 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 saying that we only roll if there's a chance you can fail but if you interpret failure as a critical failure, then there's no failure in the, in the game. Right. There's only success or critical failure. And that's and, a little bit that's, extreme. That's fine for cinematic play, I suppose, but it's problematic for any other, any other kind of play. Um, so, uh, Yep. Excuse no. me, I wipe this tear because Anthony actually knows what the word problematic means and uses it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> so there's also, I, I think right in there, you can probably be guided by stress, maybe. Not necessarily. Right. But like, exactly. like if, right. if you've rolled once on the stress dice and you fail, which we'll probably do if you if you rolled a one, but uh Maybe that's a guide to, you know, this would be a critical failure. Or there's, something. Some, there's some reason for you to feel panic. It's because you have, you know, royally screwed the pooch, as it were, in this moment. Or the other way around, you're already panicking. And so, you know what, you haven't just failed, you've, you've, you've messed things up. So that's where I was going with that. But that's an interpretation of, okay. of the rules. You know, it's not a strict, ah, I notice that... Uh, because you have failed your ranged combat role that, you know, you've given away your position. And, you know, so. This this was an issue, similar issue, I think, when Coriolis came out, where success was like a marginal success and you needed actual surplus successes to really succeed. <laughs> and failure was, yeah, it was, and it, it was described as such, right? Like if you jump, from one side to the other and you succeed you're barely hanging on by the skin of your right so it was a, i remember somebody complaining that it was seemed a little too extreme you either super what would you either critically failed or barely hung on or you know so i don't i don't know i think they've been working on that yeah cuz moderation is boring man I guess. Moderation is boring. Should we leap into the fray without our young friend? It's a mission. At least we can say that. So it's a mission. <laughs> he can always pop in right halfway through the mission, or you know. I did give him a call. He's not in the waiting room, right? Oh no, I have. Been. Okay. I gave him a call. He didn't answer. He may be passed out. He's probably passed out. It, which is weird because he apparently woke up at the correct time and then promptly fell asleep again. Yeah. <laughs> Young people these days. I know. You know. <laughs> well, and hopefully it's not, you know, sickness or, or whatever or someone fell down. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. No, that's true. And, and, and let's, let's uh, be clear about one thing before we jump right into this. Because this is being recorded, 
And you said, I feel the need to make a house rule. That needs to be a separate video. You need to cut that little part out. <laughs> and I, I, you need to send that to me, you know. I just wanted that in a loop, in a loop. But Evidence, I, I feel like the over need. Over and over again. We'll <laughs> over and over. <laughs> because it's, this is something nobody will ever believe. <laughs> anyway, it's, 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 only more, it's only more, slightly more believable than if Jason said it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you gotta do like a little max headroom thing where it's like i feel 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 the need to make that <laughs> uh all right Ooh. okay after you had returned from lv426 because of the stresses of the mission and of course the timing of the mission your unit was sent on leave while uh, some members were rotated out and new members were rotated in. The area where you went on leave was a place called Sunderdutch, which among many other things is a mining community. This is out on the frontier and it's kind of a nice place to be sent on leave because you are not exactly in lawless territory, but you have access to things that you might not normally have access to at home and access to um, products sold from competing corporations that don't have distribution rights in you know the United American colonies territories and, and things like that. So you can you can imagine soldiers on leave being very excited about being able to, you know, to, to make port in a, in a location like this. Sonderdach is a moon colony around a vast desert planet, uh, which has been given the name Sahara. And uh, it's mostly deserted because of that, that condition. But while you were there enjoying your leave, a number of things happened. The first of which, young Graham, who you may remember from the assault on the on the sentry gun in the upper hallway of the Sulaco, young Graham did not come back from his entertainments one night. And after enough time passed, it became pretty obvious that he was missing not just hold up somewhere with some local girl or on a bender or in a gambling den, you know, his, his closer buddies came to you in concern to report him missing. He didn't show up to do stuff with them. But in the midst of the search for Graham, an urgent communique came in to Sergeant Kaminsky. And I'll turn it over to you, Sergeant Kaminsky, about how you report to the others about your orders. Uh, and this this comes up when we're uh, on the planet side looking for for Graham. Yes. All right. So, uh, so I I look at the orders and I tell them, uh, all right, we gotta get our asses. Uh, uh, back to uh, back to base. We have a job to do. What's up, sir? Uh, there's uh, there, there's some in, some insurgents here, and open warfare has broken up on the colony. We are on Prospero, or no? We're on. You're being diverted. Dutch. You're being we're diverted open, to. Sunder, that's right. Prospero. So there, uh, there, open warfare broke out on a Prospero colony. And uh, some uh, there's some research and production assets that have to be protected. We have to back up uh, Marine Company, uh, Marine uh, Unit Seven, the Lucky Devils. Lucky Devils, indeed. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess Graham's going to be uh, taking more shore leave than anticipated. Hopefully, he's having fun. And fun's not having him. All right. Have I got uh, my communication as well? Or? Yes. Well, Sarge, did you uh, did you hear about this uh, uh, civilian observer 
being uh, attached to our unit. What the hell? And we got some uh, uh, pencil pusher uh, coming over. You know, it doesn't sound too bad because it's retired uh, former Marine. Uh, Dylan Sykes, apparently uh, they want uh, a budget oversight make sure equipment and and uh their money is being spent well so heads up everybody you're gonna Are have you some fucking kidding me rios mm, i wish i were I make wish every I were. bullet count buddy every bullet no uh, so just a heads up we're gonna have uh some guy over from well then, then we, we better talk then we better talk uh, talk about this before we get I got some intel that the, these insurgents hired a former Marine. Uh, his, uh, his name's Lim. And apparently he's a hardcore bastard who doesn't take prisoners. So don't worry about bullet counting when we're on planet side. They take <laughs> no prisoners. Okay. okay. Rios, you got babysitting duty on this one. Because they saw fit to tell you. Yeah. We will fast forward through your FTL journey out on beyond what used to be the frontier, but is now. Because it's faster than light. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) This territory where the Prospero uh, colony was is around a red dwarf star. And it used to be beyond the frontier. But recently, uh, the UAC has expanded and has enveloped this territory as new colonies have opened up. So this has gone from being a totally lawless, totally open frontier place where corporate interests could experiment without worrying about government oversight uh, and uh, labor laws could be flouted and, and et cetera, et cetera. It's now suddenly fully inside the territory of of the uac and is you know under your protection as the you know the colonial marines so this switchover happened very recently so this the the environment is in a state of uproar and so we're flashing back to remember this moment of receiving the orders of hearing that rios is on babysitting duty and uh, that we're headed off to some colony named Prosper. But right now, we're pinned down. We're about 500 meters from the drop point. The Cheyenne is behind you in pieces, in flames. It's been hit by artillery fire, and uh, the pilot seems to have gotten out, has gone for cover, but the Cheyenne is in wreckage. There's smoke drifting everywhere and you feel the crushing weight of two g's pulling you down to the earth right anything that you do that requires endurance that inquires stamina that requires mobility is going to be penalized by one die in this environment okay Mm. so everybody's behind heavy cover this ruined uh delivery truck right and the target ahead of you is a Wayland Utani Research and Development Center. All right. And you are under orders from the lieutenant of the Lucky Devils. All right. To clear this building, you know, to retake this building from the insurgents. I'm take it entirely. All right. All right. So that's your situation. You're under fire. The observer, Dylan Sykes, is with you. This uh, Marine was mustered out under disability. He was left with, a, with an honorable discharge, but uh, has some mobility issues because of, of back injuries and, and burning. Right. So... Uh, while he's no stranger to combat, understands the idea of getting down, <laughs> take cover. Uh, he's he's older and uh, 
has some some real limitations on what he can and can't do. But I'm not going to leave you completely in the lurch. I'm going to share some of my amazing art with you. Yes. All right. Yes. <laughs> this is what I was for. This, this is what we live for. Yeah. <laughs> right. So old school. You should now be looking at the Prospero Colony. Prospero itself is a desert world with no surface water whatsoever. There are visible from space, there are large fungal forests with bright oranges and dark purples that can be seen from orbit. But the colony was placed in an area far from those just in, just in case. The colony itself is quite large. It has 1,100 colonists working in it. And this green space you see is the, um, the walled city. Okay. It's not domed. It has, uh, the planet has a breathable atmosphere. The big challenge is that uh, the, the gravity is so high. Yes, Craig is here. Welcome, Craig. Yes. We were worried about you. Somebody wow. wake up, geek. I woke up, woke up Somebody early. Somebody wake up, geek. Make, make coffee, figure, all right, I'm gonna send the, I got 30 minutes before I gotta meet with the guy, so I'm gonna sit down, watch a documentary about HP Lovecraft, and then wake up an hour later. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Kind of, the HP kind Lovecraft of you to join us, me. private. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> right. So, Craig, what you're looking at on the scene is the on the screen is the location. Uh, you, as a private, are probably um, don't have a lot of access to some of the stuff that we've already talked about. So that's just fine. Great. You notice that there are different zones in the the oval that is the the city. And the the colony itself has, uh, I was saying, 1,100 colonists. But this uh, area is, you know, a a typical city size that could house uh, a lot larger population, 20, 30,000 people, except most of it is taken up by factory space, warehouses, and and, uh, spaceport facilities and things like that. The center, the gray section in the center marked six, is the water uh, creation and, and uh, processing plant. The other areas, the ones marked in yellow, are ostensibly owned by, produced by, managed by Wayland yutani building better worlds. And the red sections are owned and sponsored by Siegson, which is a competitor from outside of uh, the United American colonies. Siegson is pretty much known as the knockoff company. You know, Whalen Yutani produces, you know, produces Walters and Davids and and uh, Bishops. These amazing uh, synthetics, these amazing faster than light starships. This incredible military equipment, and Siegson produces an obviously mechanical plastic skinned android called the Working Joe. Good name. <laughs> Siegson, Samsung, you yeah, man. <laughs> All I think it was like the Legos and then what your parents bought you. <laughs> <laughs> so they look like Legos. You are in combat. You are pinned down under heavy fire from. insurgents in uh, you're in zone one okay so your Cheyenne did a fast drop right high speed drop and then sudden deceleration you know which pinned you all to the decks then you were disgorged but before the pilot could take off or jumper could take off the Cheyenne was hit she ejected and it crashed and burned and you all had to scramble for cover with the civilian observer, and you're you're pinned down behind a, uh, a an upturned and destroyed delivery truck. You can see 
ahead of you, the Whalen Utani complex is just a square office tower, literally square, um, rising up ahead of you. Some of the windows have been blown out and heavy weapons fire is raining down from there. Uh, maybe not smart guns, but something uh, along that line and with a heavy you know, a cyclical rate of fire and large caliber able to blow holes through the delivery truck. And uh, beyond that, the spires of those towers, you can see the water processing plant uh, churning away. So we got to take over this installation, which is a uh, Wayland Utani research station. Uh, all right. So, uh, I'm going to grab my dice. I'll be right back. Yeah, sure. And so the, the, yeah. the fires coming from the building, we, we're going to retake. We, we're, we're going to retake. The fires are zones where active. No, shooting. no, no. The, the, the gunfire. I'm sorry. Oh, the gunfire. gunfire. Yes, yes. So it is coming okay. from our target. Yeah. What's the status on the opening, right? Like, do we see a way into the building? Are there right, the doors? Floor, is there a... The ground floor looks like somebody has already broken past security yeah. to, to take the right. building. So you could just follow right. Footsteps. The security glass is shattered. the The main doors have been torn down. So what we got to do is rush through the open space and go inside. Yep. Okay, but we're taking fire. Uh, uh, there is other cover between where you are and and the ground floor entrance of the building, but you know it, it's going to require movement from cover to cover. Right. You're behind yeah, the last yeah. large cover. Uh, uh, both uh, real split let, split us into two fire teams. One will provide cover as the other moves, and we'll meet Frog all the way in there. Go. So that sounds like a good plan. All right. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> so fire teams were again. Uh, was it uh, no, just, split, two, just two men? Yeah, split us. There's four of us, right? So split us into two, and uh, and then one one team will provide covering fire while the other moves from cover, and we'll leapfrog that way. Right. Right. Uh, so just choose your partner. And... Uh, -huh. uh. You're lucky because your team will have three. Right, because I got the observer. <laughs> um. <laughs> So I'll hand my 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 sidearm to uh, to Sykes, and I'll say, uh, "Okay, Sykes, uh, once a Marine, always a Marine. Here you go." And I'll hand him uh, my my pistol. Uh, he and, gratefully takes it. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I say, "Okay, uh, Baxter, let let's go." Uh, right now, the the. Obvious problem is that you all have personnel armor, helmets. Sykes doesn't. He has a civilian brand. Right. So what I'll do is I'll have uh, uh, Baxter uh, uh, pop out and start uh, firing, and uh, I'll go next with uh, with uh, the observer, and you follow close behind. So the plan is that, uh, well, I just said it. That's the plan. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I'll, and I'll interpose myself between uh, and, fire and, and, geek and I, Yeah, Geek and I will try to provide covering fire while they right. move. So. Okay. I'm, gonna provide Psych, but, I'm sorry. As Psych steps away, I pull my helmet off, and I yell at him, and I throw him, throw him the helmet. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... What we have here is a mobility roll. Failure to communicate. Oh, failure. <laughs> failure to mobilize. Uh, so, Rios, I'm going to need a, a mobility roll from you. Yes. You are losing a die because of the high gravity. You are right. losing a die to represent the observer. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you. And Five minus two is three. you are taking fire. You're you're pinned down. So if this roll turns out to be a 
failure is going to spin into a panic roll because okay. you're going to be caught out in the open. Okay. That's the, that's the, the consequence there. All right. And the terrain is rough. So this is another. Oh, geez. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you have any dice left? <laughs> I have a Real. huge pool and and you have to dice. hop on and you have to hop on one foot because yeah. <laughs> now it's not all bad right? because you're receiving covering fire. Oh, all right. So this will count as assistance from those laying down the covering fire. So that's Baxter and... and Geek and Kaminsky. Yeah. But but uh, Baxter is going to be right behind me, right? So he pops out and, and then you, just runs Your out run <laughs> is covered by Baxter. Baxter exactly. is going to be covered by... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably, probably, probably brought, to you, brought to you by Baxter running like hell. Right. Yeah, so all right. So one Baxter is going to contribute two dice because of the Ooh. smart gun. The others are going to contribute one die. And I take their uh, extra die as well? Yeah. Or just, oh, uh, except so we're back to five. Here we go. See, it's not all bad. Survey says nothing, nothing, honey, for which I think I'm going to uh, 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 push. Jeez, let's push. There's, I forgot the. You're going to push the first roll? You're going to push the first roll. It's a panic, panic. <laughs> uh, because I got the observer with me. And so that pumps up my panic by one, if I recall yep. correctly. Correct. And so there we go. There it is. There we go. Succeed. Nice. So, I'm seeing you go for real, go like go for one thing. And then the, that cover gets blown away. It's like, oh, yeah. Yes. Like, go, <laughs> move, move, move. And then just, you know, zigging one way and then zagging the other way. <laughs> grabbing, this, isn't, this isn't a Sunday stroll. <laughs> grabbing the neck of the you know the shirt of the other guy. Come on, come on. <laughs> so as you charge in, you're able to better identify some of the the fire coming in. There are of course people um, using you know rifles of various descriptions, and there's someone who's definitely using an auto fire weapon. But that last section where the, the cover you were heading for exploded, they also have access to grenade launchers. Oof. All right. Now a party. So you and Sykes get behind cover, and Baxter is uh, behind you, ready to run. Now you can supply uh, assist, you know, covering fire for him, but it's just a single die. I've seen that. I've seen the explosion of the grenade launcher or of, the, the, of the grenade. Absolutely. Can I can, can get a sort of a beat of like where it might have come from? Yes. Now your smart gun is identifying right. targets in the windows, but uh, they are, of course, using the heavy cover of the the exterior wall of the building themselves. So their signature is appearing and disappearing as they pop up. Um, right. So the, the person who fired the grenade is currently not visible, but the, the smart gun tracks targets. Right? So if you want to wait for them to pop up again. Yeah, Whoa. screw it. Screw this. Go ahead, Sarge. I'll, I'll, I'll bring up the rear. I'm going to go on Overwatch. Okay. All right. Ready, 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 especially to, I'm mean, especially looking at the grenade launcher. Last, last All day. right. Greg, got to move on. Let's draw initiative cards then because now it matters yes <laughs> ivan could you initiate initiative? oh yes i can hold on then he left go back go, i'm going back to my shelf of of aliens shelf shelf of hope hope for games one of which is actually in front of me hooray this is great this is uh this is how we're living here all right come on so initiative for moi is a one is that good or bad? That's good. That's good. All right, go. that's good. What else am I drawing for? I'm drawing for everybody. Uh, go, go for me. Yeah. Uh, Bodhi is on a six. It's on a six. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh yes. So, six. so uh, was a one. Yes. 
Bodie was a six. Yes. Look at yeah. you. The Sarge is on a five. Oh, no. And um, Geek, oddly enough, even though he's just rubbing the sleep out of his eyes, is on a three. Excellent. <laughs> He's well rested. Yeah, and my can you draw one for Sykes people. as well, please? Sykes is, <laughs> Sykes is on a ten. He's having a rough day. Right, I'm going to put him in this empty PC slot. Nice. Yeah, okay. <laughs> How about the bad guys? Bad guys, keep drawing, please. Seven, seven, and two more. Uh, eight. I swear to God, I'm not cheating. And a two. Okay. Okay. So we got one slot before day, dude. Then one of them. Right. Then a bunch of us. Yeah. Yeah. And then three of us. Yeah. A bunch of you. And then the last two killed the NPC observer. (laughs) Then Sykes dies. Their initiative is representing some squads of of them just for my sanity. Okay. So. Gotcha. Right. Okay, so Baxter's gone on Overwatch, so he can act uh, before the grenade uh, launcher fires uh, when he pops up again. All right, so next. Yeah, okay. Great. All right. So hang Sorry, on. So, so Baxter, are we giving the one to Baxter so that he can do that? Um, I'm just okay. going to move that up there like that so it looks different. Right. So, so the on first turn is Baxter declaring overwatch. Yep. Okay. So yeah. now it's the one of the bad guys goes. Yeah. All right. So uh, the auto fire uh, splits the night. <laughs> and. Ooh. That's not good. <laughs> Okay, so it's stitching across the the delivery truck where many of you are, um, many of you are cowering, and there is a, a you're used to the cycle, right? The length of time it takes for a, for a full auto burst to complete, right? You've you've almost can do the count in your head, and this fire is interrupted, and there's a bright flash of light. Um, from behind their cover. And does it stop it? And it stops. Yeah, the, the auto fire stops. Go, oh, go. Yeah, go, Greek. Go. Yeah. All right. Um, so I'm going to get plus four, minus four. Is that what we decided? Yes. All right. So well, you don't have you don't have the the NPC, <coughs> which was all right. One of the yeah, oh, that's true. So I'm going to have a yeah. So minus two. Good call. You're going to have a bonus die. All right. As I rush to um, a second piece of cover, it also gets whittled down to not enough for me. So I'm going to push my roll. Okay. So I'm going to add my stress die. Oh, fantastic. And no successes. Uh oh, somebody's freaking out, man. Okay. <laughs> well then, it's time for a panic roll. Yeah, I don't. Fl- I don't like this situation at all. <laughs> I don't blame you. So, could you roll okay. a d six? One d six plus one. Yeah. I guess he just woke up, so he's a little. Well, this is going to wake him up right now. <laughs> all I know. All I know is the last time I left you, we were not under fire. I'll leave you alone for thirty minutes. <laughs> Uh, so D66 plus one, right? Just a D6. No D6. D6 okay. plus one. Uh, so four, three plus one. Okay. So, okay. You're still keeping it together, but you feel the fear rising. You are exposed, right? You are, um, well, it's your choice of whether you're still standing or crouching or if you've hit the dirt, but you're not undercover. Yeah, I, I've hit the dirt. Okay. I've just, you know, and then just went down when I realized I was not going to make cover. Right. And yeah, the, the bullets are stitching a line across the dirt in front of you and they're whizzing over your head and you're, yeah. you know, there's nowhere to go. No left, no right to go at the, in this moment. So Geek hits the dirt. Who's next? All right. So it's my turn to make the move. 
Let's see. What the hell are you doing, geek? Move your ass. <laughs> All right, I got two sixes. Cool. So, question. Yeah. And I actually rolled one light, one die less. <laughs> I just forgot my bonus die. Okay, that didn't help. But anyway, mm-hmm. now I have a, I have a question uh, that came up when I was looking at the rules. Yeah. Uh, which is, it says that one of the stunts you can do is give a six to another guy. Right. Now, the question is, in this case, could I give it to Geek retroactively? Or he, or if I give it to him, he'd have, he could use it in his next action? That's what I was like Going it, forward. Or, yeah, yeah it, it, I think it, it implies that it's the person, some, someone following you. Yeah. Someone following all right, so maybe then what I'll do is be really uh, uh, <clears throat> a munchkin about this, and I will give it to uh, Baxter. And basically, as I as I run to cover, I tell Baxter, "I saw the launcher, third window on the right." Right on. Okay. Next. That would be me. Uh, so you have you're at cover. You're in an advanced position. Kaminsky is closing the distance, coming up on you. Mm-hmm. Baxter's still back at the original cover. Geek is out in no man's land uh, for the moment. Do I go find Geek? No, I'm fine. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> no helmet. No helmet. Yeah. Uh, well, I hear the the admonition from from Sarge, so I'll try to to open fire on that window. Right. See if I can if I can hit anything. Okay. Go for it. So, uh, okay. So range combat is six. Yeah. Uh, basic dice plus one panic. And whatever modifiers apply. Yeah. You are in medium range, minus one. Okay. And they have, well, that doesn't matter. So yeah, you're at, you're at minus one to at least shoot at the window. And right. maybe you'll get something beyond it and maybe you won't. Right. Okay. So uh, plus one from the rifles, uh, that's zero uh, total. It's uh, six dice plus one panic uh, die. Yep. One stress die, not panic die. Stress there die. we go. And survey says two successes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I don't know if I hit anybody. But at least I'm, I'm. If you did, assuming you did, what let's would you do? pin them down. Is what I what I want to do. Okay. So that they can't fire. So this provides cover to everybody. They're trying to right. pop up to shoot to bring another yeah. gun to bear, but you've got you've got them. You've got their number. Right. You got a flash of helmet. You don't know if you hit them or not, but. All right. Next is them npc yeah. yeah all right so the auto fire has has stopped the grenade launcher pops up which triggers uh, baxter it triggers baxter who fires and that's a six already yeah uh, six already that's good that's good and i'm i don't know i didn't write down a freaking bonus for this smart gun you gotta be kidding me gun? So it's, Anthony, um, the, yeah. the, the, the giving the stunt where Sarge gives Baxter the six, that doesn't turn a die into a six, right? That just gives him a six. It gives him a six, yeah. Okay. So he can now succeed. Um, and the role right. that he makes, his own role adds onto it. He he rolls all fresh dice. Yeah. Got it. Ooh, uh, that's it. That's okay. I wasn't quite sure if that was ah, where the hell is it? Uh yes, plus three. There you go. Yep. Nice. All right, cool. I don't know why I didn't write that down, but it's 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 there now. All right, cool. So 
Let's see. Only quite a few dice here. Yeah. Uh, Julian Ray's kind of mess. That's seven. That's ten. That's, that's twelve with the that's twelve with the specialization of smart gun. Now you're also in short range for the smart gun. Uh huh. That's nice. Is that extra one or no? No, that's a, there's no penalty. Normal. There's no penalty. Okay, yes. no penalty. Yeah. Okay, am I taking? But I'm. What am I? What kind of penalties am I taking for gravity and all that stuff? Anything? Just that you are stepping out from cover in order to do it. Mm -hmm. So. You have a minus one for that. Okay. Minus one back. Okay. <laughs> he mutes the shaking. That was good. It's yeah. like a shadow uh, run roll. Yeah. I know. Uh, uh, that is four. Six. So that's five altogether. Yikes. <laughs> four plus one. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're going we're gonna to say that is um, the, the damage from the gun. Right. Yeah. Or auto fire for other targets. That's auto right. fire for others. That's true. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking at my looking at my uh at my uh back. I'm looking at my stunt list thing here. I can pin them down. Mm. I can have to over them. Um you can hmm. damage them and pin them, which is <laughs> <laughs> yeah One die to pin you know rest die to damage you can you can sweep it across and hit uh, other people really is that so I with your with your three extra successes because if you're firing in in auto fire you could choose three other targets to take their base damage which is significant or you could uh, spend a die to increase the damage to one of the targets that you hit, or spend a die to pin people down. Or you know, so you've got a, quite a bunch gotcha. of options. Gotcha. Well, I wasn't. I wasn't necessarily shooting in auto fire unless it always fires auto fire. Oh no! I think you, you have can, to declare it. You can burst. Yeah. So. Okay. No. So it's a burst. So I didn't because I didn't. I didn't roll the extra dice and I did not take the stress. So That's true. I'm simply. I'm simply going to pin them down and do damage. So okay. that would be three extra damage. Yeah. And pin them down. Okay. So as this tight spray, you know, blasts through the window, taking out more of the, the armor glass and taking out chunks of, of concrete, uh, there's a visible gout of blood. Part of a pulse rifle comes, comes out the window. And uh, there are sounds of panic on the inside. And the volume of fire markedly decreases. Nice. And Sykes says, go, go. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can go right now. I think that was my slow action. Yeah, yeah you, I think that you're there. That, yeah. That's all the NPCs. And okay. now it's down to. Thanks. Right. Thanks. Likes who's with his observer, or, or he is the observer. He's with his, his guide, and he's urging his guide to go. He's not going to go unless you go. Right. right. Uh, well, okay. The thing is, I can't go until. Yeah. Is it back to turn action. again now? Because uh, we start over. Sykes. Start because, over. So Sykes, yeah. of course, does fire a shot with his sidearm through the window to long range kind of hopeful shot, which is kind of pitiful after the spray from the, the smart gun. But uh, he keeps having to push the helmet up because it doesn't fit real well. It's a neat large head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Look at the cranium on that guy. <laughs> so then I run roll around Ooh. and back to Baxter. Then I, then I run a little more nonchalantly yelling at geek. It's safe now. Not more, more or less. <laughs> Come on, kid. And do the mobility. Yeah. Correct? Mobility check. Mobility check. Now, Alrighty. this is decreased by... So it's two. It's two for you. Decreased by two. Right. So I just get to roll three dice. All right, excellent. 
Mm. Well, I'm a fighter, not a runner. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Bullshit. No. Yeah. So you have almost made it to geek. Are you hitting the dirt or are you going to stay standing? There will still be incoming fire. There will still be incoming fire. Yeah, I'm hitting the dirt. Okay. And as he hits the dirt, I look back and realize what I was like, I'm where you're not supposed to be. And I point and like to where <laughs> Rios is. Shut up, kid. <laughs> and of course, diving into the dirt is an instinctual thing. You've been doing it since you were kids, you know, playing sports or, or whatever. But under two G's, this is like the, the world rising up to slam you right in the face. You know, just boom, knocks the wind out. And uh, so there's still there's some sporadic fire. You can hear shouting inside the building. Right. Rios can probably make it with Sykes in one dash, but he would be pretty much mostly exposed in the shattered front of the building. Or there's a, you know, a decorative, the remains of a decorative concrete art piece in from the front of the building uh, that could be used as cover that's short of the doorway. Question. Is there fire coming also from the first floor or is all the fire coming up from above? From above. The exact same thing. Yeah. So no if we get in there, above. yeah, we, we, we get out of the fire. So it's, it's Greek's turn, actually, see if he wants to keep sleeping. That's well, just an NPC's turn. NPC's, NPC's turn, turn, yeah. 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 NPC first, right? Because it's the second guy to go. Yeah. All right. So I have to resolve this first. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Sorry, guys. All right. Through the Good. window, through the upper window, uh, someone throws out a rifle. Ooh. And someone else screams. Right? Marines! They're Marines! But there's also firing. Right. Still gunfire going on. There's still yeah. gunfire. And this is like single shot, like someone's someone's aiming, you know, pow, and it, it spatters off the, the cover behind uh, just ahead of Rios and, you know, zings past Sykes' ear and, and uh, puffs of dirt around um, Baxter and, and Geek. Next to me. All right. Uh, I, I'm going to get up, scramble, and run. Um, now, question. Baxter hitting the dirt with, with the harness and everything, is he able still to to give cover fire, or is... Depends on Baxter, how. You... Yeah. yeah. If he's lying on his back. Uh, but this is a failed mobility roll uh, that got him here, so I'm going to say no. He's not able okay. to lend support fire. So... I would be, I would, I do get cover fire from, from Sarge and from Rios. So yep. it gives me plus two. And then what's my negative? Minus two. Minus two. All right. That makes it easy. And, and I apologize. I don't remember by having, having to have rolled on the panic. Do I automatically get another uh, stress die or yes. uh, that's what I thought. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Always keep that stress. Die. Oh, yeah. Yeah. well, no, I can't. Yeah, but, but if I added, you, do I add yeah. an additional? So I'm at two stress yeah. now. Right. Cause yes. I had to, cause I rolled it. <sighs> Because you rolled panic. All right. That's what I thought. I believe so. Yep. God dang it. <laughs> what happened? No success. Gravity's just more the gravity's panic. just too rough. Right. Mm -hmm. So he's panicking because he can't move. Another phase like, yeah, of course he is. Yeah, I, I get up and like on my hands and knees and I've got my rifle there and it's just the firing's going and it, it seems like when I scramble right, the fire goes to my right. When I go left, it goes to my left. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> And no helmet. The firefight is forward, ladies. Yeah. So uh, D6 plus two? Correct. No, D6. Uh, yes, plus two. Plus your stress. Yep. Uh, so I'm at a seven. Five plus two. All right. Nervous twitch, your stress level, and the stress level of all friendly PCs in short range of you, which is everybody, 
increases oh. by one. Oh no. So I'm, at f- <laughs> I'm at four stress now because I panicked and I picked up that additional one. So, uh. and, and what I'm just, I am freaking out. So I am yelling and yelling at Baxter. Why are you not firing your gun? I'm yelling at Rios because he's not covering me. And I think I'm too scared of Sarge. He's going to get us all killed. He's going to get us all killed. <laughs> so. That's a very legitimate statement. <laughs> Baxter. <laughs> You're going to get us all killed, you idiot. All right. That's great. Next. All right. I, I mutter some uh, words that are not for a recorded uh, <laughs> a session. And uh, I'll add a panic roll to my dice. You tell me the penalty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put a grenade from my launcher in the window they last fired from. Ooh. Go for it. Do we have a, a uh, range penalty on this one? Uh, no. No. Not for no. that. And the launcher. But it's an aimed shot. Yeah. So uh, we're giving you a two die penalty. A two die penalty. And the launcher gives me a plus one. So basically, I'm at six die, including the stress die from our friendly neighborhood geek. Yeah. But. The stress deck rolled up a five, and I did get one six. Nice. Okay. Through the window, it goes. What's the base damage on the grenade? Blast nine, it says. <laughs> on grenade launcher. <laughs> so, There's a little bit of redecorating about to happen. <laughs> All right. It's chunky salsa time. Now, <laughs> if you had hit the building, they would have taken some damage behind their cover, but... Uh, there you get it inside their cover, so they're taking it all and uh, a head, a shoulder, uh, a limb, <laughs> an, an indescribable limb, a spray of hamburger, a, a coiling loop of bowel all comes spraying out the the, uh, the small aperture. <laughs> I mean, uh, the only grenade I can find is from the grenade launcher, uh, and under heavy weapons. I don't know if there's another grenade damage. No, that's right. Okay. Show off. <laughs> Why did we do that first? So get a fucking move on already. And, and I guess I'd use my move action to, to try and get to either to the next cover or to the lobby. Okay. Interestingly, just as, as an aside, right here, it looks like aiming is a fast action, but actually gives a plus two to the attack roll. Yep. That is yes. true. If you, if you aim, it gives you if a you, bonus. If you aim, yeah. yeah. And I am not... I am not finding that rolling panic automatically ups your stress. Oh, okay. So it's... I don't know why I thought that was the case. Auto fire, suffer damage, uh, go without sleep, food, or water, perform a coup de grace, scientist fails to use analysis, member of your own crew attacks you, person nearby is revealed to be an android, certain creatures or locations. So no. I think you just roll. Yeah. I'm down to just two then, not four. Yeah. I'm still panicking though. <laughs> so okay, is, is there still fire coming out or are they still firing at us or is there? Yeah, there's still some sporadic fire, <laughs> not nearly as much. Uh... All right. So what I want to do is I have a talent called hidden stash, which means that I can get one item procession and i want it to be a smoke grenade there's got to be rules for smoke uh yeah so uh, i'm sorry another like question do, do i have to roll for that move um the the mobility check is a slow action it's it's running oh, it's a slow. yeah so. okay so uh, so my action was limited to okay yeah. so it's not that you can't move around you can of course move around but you're not gonna yeah get then i i get it yeah. Let's go. Cool. Sorry, Eli. So I want to to draw a, a smoke grenade and you know yell out popping smoke, popping smoke, and then I just pull the pin and and throw it to the ground ahead of us to to block their line of sight so that we can move ahead. Right. Okay. So that you can just you can just do. Okay. If if that's sort of like a fast action, then I think I want to run. Ahead yeah. with 
yeah. with the uh, with the observer. See if I can if I can get into the building. All right. That's an ascension yeah. grenade. So that's going to provide you with four dice of cover. Nice. nice. And uh, I need to make a mobility roll, right? Yes, you do. So it was plus four. You're at minus three. So I'm at minus three. Um, does the cover help here at all? Or Yeah, yeah. All right. So it's plus four from cover. Minus three is plus one. So I get a mobility of five. Do you still have the suppression fire from Sarge and I? Plus one is six. I I don't know if you're still firing, but I am. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's all I can. Yeah. Yeah. So that's two more dice. Wow. Seek's right. so just rolling around the ground. Two more dice. Up, up, up. <laughs> but I have. Two. I'm actually on my knees right now, just shooting. <laughs> but I have yeah. two stress. So here we go. Survey says, Ooh. I don't see anything, man. I don't, but I, don't I see, see a red one. But I see a panic. Oh. Yeah. So I guess I roll panic. Okay. And I don't succeed. So panic yeah. is 1d6 plus two. Oof. So that's an eight. You I tremble. Like yep. All skill rolls suffer minus two until your panic stops. Okay. Now, I'll, let me tell you why. <laughs> okay. As you're moving through your smoke toward your cover, which you're not going to reach, right? you are charging through what has been a killing zone. Right, There are a variety of different security forces. You can see a paramilitary uniform on a body to your left, and you can see a Siegson uh, security uniform on a body to your right. And a lot of these bodies have been shot or, you know, have been, have been blown up. And this is not your source of panic. This is what you see on, on the battlefield. But there is a twisted, bloated body, which is somehow wrapped up with this long fire hose, which is extending out of the building, right? And uh, part of the face has been, has been torn away and there's these weird non-bullet related puncture wounds in the body where the bloating is, is coming from. And that just is a, is a moment uh, to, to grab your eye. It's just, it totally stands out in the field of violence and just beyond that body all wrapped up in this Icarus fire hose. There's the, a golden shimmer, almost two meters long, maybe a meter high slithering and rippling across the floor and, and taking cover. Oh, okay. That's the source of panic. <laughs> What the hell is that? <laughs> Keep your mind in the game, Rios. There's something on the ground, Sarge. Something on the ground. All right. <laughs> now, the smoke obscures everything that Rios is talking about. But yeah, Sykes is right there, the right there with you. And he starts unloading the sidearm. Just boom, boom, boom. You know, and, uh, as he slips into panic. Now, because you rolled an eight, which is greater than the seven, does that mean we all take more panic? Or is no, that no? No, there okay, are good. specific effects which okay, do good. increase. Don't worry. All right, awesome. Thank you. Good. <laughs> when you panic, you panic alone. Yes. Next. <laughs> that was Rios. Next is an NPC. Uh, but he two NPCs. Unfortunately for him, died. And yeah. he, unfortunately for him, was blown to pieces. Baxter. Baxter? Oh, yeah. Baxter, once again, charges for safety. Running running towards running towards voting. Okay. Trying to go, go all the way in for safety completely. All right. So am I just rolling three dice or is somebody giving me covering fire? I'm, I'm covering. I'm covering also. 
Oh, for thank you. So goodness. remember when you are giving assistance like this, it counts as the same type of, of action, right? So this is a slow action for Baxter. So it's a slow action for you, right? This is why we haven't been resolving much of your damage uh, as we go through, right? We're just, your damage is against the building and against other cover and things like that. So oh, got it. Okay. Run, Baxter, run. <laughs> Baxter runs like the wind and doesn't make it. Oh, wait, wait. He didn't roll a stress die. Hold on. Key, six. No, it's, it's a three. It's a three. Does Baxter push the roll trying to get there? You know, <laughs> because Rios is saying, yes, there's something there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push the roll. Get okay. an additional stress die. So, I mean, so it gives me an additional stress die, and I roll everything. Everything. Yeah. Yes. I'm rolling seven dice. I'm going to push the roll. Go. You got this. I do. I have two success. I have two successes. That's great. Yes. Um, and I'm going to pass a six to Baxter. I mean, to uh, to uh, to uh, Geek rather. All right. Cool. Who's still pinned down with me? Aren't you but pinned I'm not, down with I'm me? not going to be able to do anything, right? Because I've I've already spent my slow action. Mm. So there might be a better a better stunt, uh, Ivan, than trying to give me the six because I'm not going to really do anything with it. I'm going to impress you. <laughs> awesome <laughs> your rival you got to impress your rival i am totally that i'm gonna use it for impressing it's like wow man he really how do you impress him <laughs> doing what <laughs> what did you do that impressed I'm, me I, I'm, I'm impressed well there's still an npc alive right you know well he just sprints up right because he was you know like you and it's like, so it's athletic like, and it's not like that, but I mean, with the gun, but not only that, but like the bullets are crashing down right around me. Like, bam, it's amazing. Like, I'm just, they're passing within like millimeters of me. And somehow I'm seeing the dodge and weave almost like instinctively knowing how to like shift my body even before the bullet gets there. And he's carrying comes a up. heavy smart yeah. gun, right? Yeah, and he got up gun. like it was nothing. And, you and then he comes down the stairs. He comes down the stairs kind of sideways like Cary Grant. You, know? yeah. <laughs> you, can, you, can almost, you can almost see the bullets like whizzing past my ears. You can almost see the, 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 the freaking ripples in the air. It's amazing. Yeah. Nice. I wish I could be as cool as him. <laughs> but you'll never admit that to anybody. Knowing back, Baxter's too preoccupied to see my face, I actually go... <laughs> <laughs> going back yeah, I could move that it. fast when I'm that old. <laughs> yeah, the, the ripe old age of 40 <laughs> right Ugh. okay only to be 40 Beautiful. to be 40 again <laughs> all right all right the and geek then. is busy firing the the resistance firing back uh opens up with a shot on geek sorry geek that's right. I'm the obvious target. I just have to dig out some yellow dice. There we go. Okay. Don't panic, Keith. It's okay. Wow. Holy Moses. All right. And I now have to do this it's three okay geek your armor saves you from certain death as you take a heavy impact down your back right right down your spine right and somehow manages to you know pass between your muscular buttocks to slam into the the earth behind without uh, without doing any shit and bullets uh, right <laughs> but you know it, it hits with force enough to to rock you slam your head into the into the ground right someone really had your number but at the last minute something you know diverted their aim and fire from the second floor stops. Mm -hmm. so it's deathly quiet, except for the sounds of gunfire and 
explosions and sirens from elsewhere in in the colony that now suddenly kind of swim back up into your your peripheral attention now that you're not being constantly shot at. Sounds like the lucky devils got lucky. Looks like your, or, dancing, your dancing routine scares everybody, Baxter. <laughs> or, or somebody yeah. else is in, is in there uh, going after them. We don't know if they're friend of, or foe yet, so better keep alert. Also, I, I, Greek, I, this was not nap time, nap time. What the fuck were you doing back there? <laughs> well, next time, let's lead with a smoke grenade and lead with the, with the, with the regular grenade. That worked great. <laughs> Watch the ground. There's a snake or something. What the hell are you talking about? It's some glowing stuff. Like, watch out. I don't know. I saw something weird. Have you been have you been using your own pain medicines? Sarge, Cody's freaking out. <laughs> Let's get in there. Could I have a report of your stress level, please? Your stress dice. One for Kaminsky. Thanks, Guy. I'm, I'm on two. <laughs> two for Baxter. I believe I believe Geek is seven and, and um, Bodie is eight. <laughs> oh, stress no, dice? That's panic. Panic oh, level panic is eight. Level. I just got, yeah. Oh, panic oh, level. Yeah, the last one I rolled was level. a seven. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I've, got, I've got two dice. Okay. And, uh, two stress dice. Okay, you can copy, and I got a two as well for my stress. There we go. Now it's working. Rios has two for stress, and Greek has. I have I have two. Excellent. And then my panic level is seven. And mine is eight. Okay, seven for Greek. Greek. Yeah. And eight for Rios, and none for. Yeah. Ah, that's that's a nice little that's a nice little chart. Thank uh, you. Okay. Cool. There should be a panic tracker on these on these character sheets. That's the one thing I would change about them. Okay. Yeah, right at the bottom. Good call. Okay. So, uh, oh, I need to put in. Sykes <laughs> nine. I'm not sure if the if the bottom of this landscape sheet would be enough for your your eventual panic level there, geek. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. So nine as a panic level is normally drop item, and I'm representing that as why he emptied his his clip. He's you know the sidearm he was passed is now is now empty. Right. Oh, okay, right okay. So there you are. You're you're scattered across the the front area. Right, which used to be like a loading and receiving zone, and uh, firing from the second floor stops. There's Rios's warning about there's there's something snake-like inside. There's something glowing inside. The smoke is dispersing, and uh... you know, it sounds like Sarge was ordering us to get our shit together. So yeah. maybe that's yeah, a no, command actually... roll to break panic, right? I can do it. Let's do it. So that's uh, empathy, which, as I think I've shown, is not <laughs> what I'm. It's not doing one, on. yeah. <laughs> With a one With command die and a stress die, right? Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. And I do get one success and a three on the panic die. So nice. the other two were the other two were ones. So we were really lucky. Okay, so <laughs> so that stops our panic. Meaning right. that our panic level resets to zero, right? Until Beautiful. we roll again. Yeah. So when the next time I, I share the, the panic screen, then I'll take those those counters off. I'm not going to waste time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I said, yeah. So I'm, I'm basically the, the order is uh, still got a job to do Marines. Uh, Baxter, get your ass in there up front. I'll bring in the yep. rear. Smooth. Yeah. I'm on point. Everybody look for snakes. Anyone hit? Yeah, and I got my rifle and I'm, I'm scanning the ground, right? Anyone hit? I don't think anyone got hit. No, we're right? clear, we're clear, we're clear. Geek got hit by his armor. Right. Yeah. 
and you Rock can hard buttocks. You can Just see like the right the the long the track of the the bullet all the way down his his spinal armor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it looks like a ten millimeter round. Nice, let's go, bastard. Okay, yeah. son, let's Into go. The ground floor. Yeah. Okay. More of my incredible art to rock your world. Yes. So these are prefabricated buildings. The arrows represent entrance points and exit points. Okay, so this is floor after floor after floor. You expect to be entirely identical. You were trained, you know, in, in boot camp with layouts exactly like this. There are no surprises. So what this means is that there are four quadrants inside the building that have four other prefab spaces, which might be computer labs, or they might be factories, or they might be labs or libraries or meeting rooms or office space or, or whatever, right? And it's floor after floor after floor of these identical prefab layouts, right? And in the very center, there's a small blue dot, and that's the security station info desk. The floor is smooth, mar fake marble, very slippery, currently covered with shell casings, broken glass, uh, grenade pins, all kinds of disposable things from, from medics. And uh, so this terrain uh, counts as as difficult. Alrighty. Uh, Any bodies or blood? There are some uh, people who are obviously people who worked in the building, like secretarial staff and uh, the building security and the like. There are also more soldiers like outside from both sides in the paramilitary uniform, uh, which has a lion's head as their insignia. And uh, and the Seegerson um, or Searson, sorry, um, group is with them, and then the the Whale and Utani uh, security group. Sorry, you want Alrighty. me to tap into security? <clears throat> yeah, let's let's get you to that uh, to that uh, to that station, and. Uh, Let's, and meanwhile, uh, let's let's have and th and it's clear right now, right? This, this yes, this, there's currently uh, no sign of the the thing that Rio saw, and uh, and there's no active fire on this floor, and you can't hear any, and you probably should be able to with the windows blown out. Uh, you should okay. be able to hear it from the other floor. So so Greg hit the security station. Uh, uh, Rios and Baxter, uh, I, see if you can identify our ways up. Like we need to uh, find some stairs or something. Yeah. Uh, next to the the arrows that are access points to the office blocks uh -huh. is where lifts are. You see that large open space. There's, there's a variety of of lifts that stay inside those those large uh, rectangular blocks. And Any stairs are just lifts. Pardon? Any stairs or just lifts? Both, yes. Okay. okay. And the distance from the front doors to the security station is 100 meters. Okay. Okay. So one the of these four sections, right, if you went in, would count as one zone. You could move through quickly and clear it in five minutes. If you met, if you found nothing and found no resistance and found nothing interesting. Okay. Yeah, so let, let's look at the security first, if we can, and then we'll, we'll start clearing. Right. Okay. So Sykes, uh, keep low, stay with geek. I take my helmet off of him. Yeah. Back onto me. <laughs> I I just turn, I just like look bleeding right into to Bodhi really quietly says uh, and and tilt my head towards Geek and said uh, and ten bucks says he finds that uh, they're under attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay. So I've got we got my Comtech. Uh, can you give uh, being very familiar with these buildings, obviously through training. This is not for our first time. This is not my first time looking at one of these security stations. Um, what could I potentially find out? So what's available to me before I roll? Um, this station is going to report uh, if elevators in, are in use, where they came from, where they're going. Um, it will provide limited. Uh, information about like the numbers of people in certain elevators, but if any of these sections have been designated as for VIPs or or uh, corporate staff, then that information will be blocked or or denied. You'll get uh, reports of fire or security alarms being triggered, unauthorized access, stuff like that. Okay. It's very very basic for you know a minimal. Yep. You know, security clearance. This person's allowed to deal with threats, but isn't allowed to know what they are. Got mm. it. So I'm typical five, government. Yeah. Five wits plus two com tech plus two stress. Yeah. And that leads to one success. Okay. So it's it's you know the standard USC MC bypass for Wayland Yutani uh, installations functions perfectly. The system is not very responsive because a lot of the power to the building has been shut down, which suggests that the entire office block, uh, several buildings exactly like this one, are probably operating on emergency power as well, which means the upper floors will be emergency lighting. And uh, you know, the cooling uh, will be off. And the temperatures of this planet uh, today are balmy 35 degrees Celsius. But as we move on toward noon, it's going to rise. Right. We're here Do in I winter, a... so it's not going to top 50. But in the summer, it gets up to 80 oh. Celsius. Oh. Yeah. Celsius. Yeah. Nice, nice vacation spot we got here. <laughs> Can I piece together the sequence? Like looking at the, the alarms and everything. Can I get a sense of like, how this how how whatever went down went down basically a well-trained hit squad and based on the message sent out by the guards it's the paramilitary squad that was attacking right he didn't describe them he just said paramilitary right uh stormed the building right overwhelmed this station hit the elevators and at that point this guy was was dead and uh, and then not too long after that power supply was hit so sarge somebody who knows what they're doing came in here um as i can tell they're not as good as us we should be all right well the 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 insurgents hired a former marine named Lim, real bastard so they have someone who knows what they're doing and who takes no prisoners Right. So it sounds like he may be here. Keep your eyes lean, over, lean over to Bodie and say, uh, you can pay me later. <laughs> hey, Bodie right. goes, Do you have Five. cameras? Do you have eyes on second floor? The, the station is equipped with them, uh -huh. but uh, it's not, not currently working. Yeah. We're blind right now. Bottom left. Great. Right. Yeah, so all right, uh, let's start clearing out this floor by the numbers, ladies. Bottom left, and then we'll take them clockwise. All right. Okay. So here you should be able to see a close up layout of the prefabricated rooms. Nice. <laughs> okay, so those green indicators, those are long lab tables, such as in a chemistry or medical lab. And the weird oval is a uh, a boardroom table. And the yeah. other one, we know this from looking at the door plates, right? <laughs> lab one, lab yeah. two, computer lab, boardroom. And in the center is another security station, just like the one mm. downstairs, except not full of bullet holes and, and the like. Just need to say uh, that I'm. I can picture this exactly because I have worked in both chemistry and medical labs. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a clear picture of what this means. <laughs> uh, now, because so the power's off, all of these doors 
are locked. Oh. So if the insurgents don't have a way to, to bypass them like Geek would, then they'll have to physically damage the doors to access the locking mechanisms, get them open. So we get a, a strong visual cue if they've been in there, mm. oh, if they're nice. not prepared. If they are prepared, then it'll look exactly like it does now. Now, can I get an observation check from um, Thanks. Rios? Yes. And this is go. this is covering everybody looking, but I'm just going to ask Rios to roll because we can see his dice. Sure, sure. So uh, I got a two plus Ooh. one is three and two stress. Uh oh. I see some panic, and right I don't on. see anything. Okay. So panic roll. Yes, please. And there's a reason. Uh, don't worry. Survey <laughs> says tilted die. Two plus two is four, so I'm keeping it together. Okay. So the tension is rising. You can't really put a finger on, on why. But as you approach that central information area so that you can check out the doors, right? Rios, you hear a low groan. And it's someone like whispering to themselves, no, not again, not again, right? Mm -hmm. And an aerosol grenade is tossed up. It reaches just about face height. Oh, no. And you're all Marines. This is hardwired, right? I like mobility checks for everyone to, to roll for cover, but it detonates when it hits face height and fills the air with droplets. Oh, great. Awesome. Now we're taking our, uh, we're taking gravity penalty. Yes. Too. Yeah. A gravity penalty and a surprise penalty. So that's Ugh. two dice off. Two dice off. Yeah. Okay. Another, uh, oh, two dice off the roll entirely. Total. Yeah. Yeah, oh, thank right. God. <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, but I have stress dice. Yay. Yay. Good thing you're stressed. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> no, I'm caught up. I'm caught by surprise. Okay. <laughs> I've got a six. Yeah. Woo. No, no successes and another hugger. No. I got, oh, shit. I got one success. Okay. So Kaminsky is not caught in the spray. Baxter's not caught in the spray, but Rios and Geek are. Uh, okay. And everyone's diving for cover. So Baxter and Kaminsky have found cover from the spray. And, uh, and Geek and Rios have not, and Sykes uh, has not. So, so the three of you are, are caught by this, and it's not acid. <laughs> it's got a really bitter odor. It's almost like someone urinated on you. That kind of awesome. bitter kind Ammonia. of smell. So, so it's, it's probably a standard Wayland Yutani Febreze substance. I gotta do my mechanic roll. <laughs> Air freshener. No, it's uh... it, could, it, could, it could be it could be the Seeks and the variety. Uh, you know. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the Seeks and Craig, one to six plus panic. Yep. So four, four plus, plus two, six. Six. So you're keeping it together. Okay. Nice. So Rios and and Geek, you know, your training is is working. So wait, do we do I need to roll panic as well? Or what's Did you the roll effect one? of the No no. I'm no, just no, wondering no. what the effect of the aerosol is. Oh no. No, the, no he rolled a one on Right. So you got a face hugger and so uh, panic roll is needed from, from Rios as yeah. well. Yeah. No, no, I no, I didn't Rios get a did. face hugger. Oh, you did it. Okay. I just failed gotcha. to get cover. Is what gotcha. I, what I, okay. Good. Yeah. So it's not acid. It's not burning you. It's not eating away at your armor. It's not it's just, causing pain. You don't feel any different, but why would someone put this in a grenade, right? So, you know, your fear is, your anticipation is building, but you, you've got it in check, you know? <laughs> hey, hey, Baxter, how about, how about, how about you cover us next time? <sighs> what? I'm trying to wipe this stuff off my mouth. Cover your new aftershave. Let's hope that stuff isn't poisonous. Or maybe flammable. Careful with the firearms. Out of character, that's yeah. probably a scent marker for somebody to go get you. 
So <laughs> the snake is going to get you. But yeah, let's stay in character. Don't talk out of character. <laughs> I, I think another observation I think, check, please. I think Craig ju- just missed a, a, a an out of character panic roll. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, nice. there we go. One success. Two. Okay. Now these, oh, just one. like any such uh, building, these areas, the walkways or the walk, the hallways <coughs> around the labs and meeting rooms have a drop ceiling. And inside the labs, they either will or won't have a drop ceiling depending on its functions. So the boardroom will and the labs won't. What's the drop ceiling? The thing with the panels on top? Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So you know, it's a false ceiling. There's false space, ceiling. Yeah. You know, gotcha. Uh, between the real ceiling and what you can see, and something is moving up there. You can hear it sliding and, and rasping, almost like um, almost like a feather duster across a hard plastic surface. It's a susurrus of noise uh, moving from the end of the hallway towards you. It's the snake, Baxter. It's up on the on the roof. Snake. Well, so I, I train my <laughs> I train Mark, my Mark, Mark where you hear it. And uh, Mark where you hear it and let it have some lead. I'll so I'll, I'll do you that. can mark it with your laser sight and so right. that Baxter can shoot. Crawling painfully out of the security area is an executive. Oh, is that where the grenade came from? But he's on the floor. He's on the floor. He's crawling. He's got two black eyes, he's got a broken nose. He's missing teeth, right? His, his name patch, security pass, has been you know ripped off. And he might have some other injuries because he's leaving a trail of blood behind. But he's desperate to get away from you. His eyes are all swollen shut. He's trying to get away from us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and is okay. Is, and is he? I'm sorry. Is he wearing a a white W a W Y or or uh, yeah, Whale and Yutani digs? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just hey. just instinctively, I, I'm you know running running I, I know that's where the grenade came from so i'm running after him to grab the grenade it came from upstairs the grenade came from upstairs right we're still in the in the first in the lowest level no we're in the second floor now oh yeah. we're in the second floor oh, okay sorry yeah so you're on the you're on the second floor and the grenade popped up from behind the security desk right. thrown by this guy who's now trying to crawl away so i'm i'm gonna run over and grab him by the nape of the neck to stop the crawl away Right. So he, he he just panics, you know, like he he, he jumps and uh, and cries out sharply, "Don't hurt me again!" Calm down, calm down, calm down. We're uh, Marines. We never hurt people. I'm saying I'm looking. I'm ceiling. looking for the snake, so, right? So yeah. as soon as I can pinpoint, I'm gonna aim and fire at that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, we're gonna do an opposed stealth and observation check. Ooh. I was also pointing my smart gun up in that direction, like waiting for him to tell me where the hell. So as as Geek's world. trying to comfort the guy, he hears that you're Marines, and now he breaks down, and he starts apologizing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what was in the grenade? <laughs> let's let's do our opposed check first. <laughs> Observation. Here we go. Oh, nothing, nothing, honey. All right. You're not sure where it is. It seems like it's coming from two places at once. Sweet. <laughs> the hell? Is this? Is uh, the answer to Geek's question? He just he just rasped out, you know, through his broken tongues. You know, there's a dribble of blood coming out. His tongue's all swollen, but he says, "Pheromones." Told you, pheromones. Yeah, I love your aftershave, man. That's the chick should love that. What? Why, do, why, why are you throwing what? pheromones? Why are you putting pheromones in a grenade? It's a snake, man. <laughs> Who wants the snake to get us? Be careful. Jumper's going to be all over you. 
Jeez. What's a, do you know what do you know about what do you know about a snake? It's not a snake. And he says as the ceiling erupts and the creature attacks from ambush, it's a lion worm. Ah, there we go. Am I supposed to know what that is? <laughs> no, but, you've oh, never no, heard. wait, it's not, a, it's not a lying worm. Sorry, it's a lion worm. So a lion worm. Lion bastard worm. <laughs> <laughs> this two meter long creature with cilia you know with hair like tendrils all around its body comes slamming through the the drop ceiling right to fall upon sykes oh boy (laughs) well that's so much for government oversight (laughs) at least he's dying like a marine right (laughs) Oh, geez. And I need initiative. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh. Now, the name of the file is Alien Crap Tracker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long line of game game plus crap tracker. <laughs> That's awesome. That's My Star awesome. Wars right. crap, tra- 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 crap tracker is 35 pages long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The sergeant is on a nine. Sorry, sorry. I am taking the one for it. Oh, okay. no. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. It's, it's an ambush. One, yeah. uh, it's a tie. Yeah. Sergeant Sound Nine. All right. Um, the uh, Rios is on a six. Lower orders, <coughs> Baxter. Ba- uh, Baxter is on. I kid you not, is on a one. Nice. Okay. And which I will justify by having my smart on the And Geek is on a three. Not bad. All right. I can- uh, this looks good. Uh, before we forget, uh, Craig, uh, you, I believe you rolled a six on your last panic roll. You I think you need to keep track of that, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, or, or do we start tracking after seven? I mean, seven is where it, I mean, so if you roll less than seven, you don't need to track the number, right? Okay, okay but, cool. Because you're not, you're not in a state, yeah. Oh, okay, so right, that's true. Yeah, I, I was just wondering if he rolled like a six, like if the next one needs to be a seven at least, but that's not how it works. You start tracking at, at seven. Okay, that's good. That's something that the character sheet should probably have. It has you keep stress, but it should also have help you track. Well, it would be nice if maybe there was a box to the right of the stress level that allowed you to just update a number there. I agree. Yeah. All right, so gents, I get to attack. Sykes. Like. And, no. <laughs> and this is actually going to Earth. cause a panic roll itself because I'm going to attack twice. The ferocity and speed oh, of geez. the creature is horrifying. It comes out of nowhere, right? You are convinced. Like everybody's lined up, scanning the ceiling, right? All looking that way. And it comes out of the ceiling behind you and right. just envelops. Uh, Sykes in a golden carpet of these waving tendrils. Sykes collapses under its weight. Right. Nice. So do we roll panic ourselves or? Just hang on a second. Let me give you a okay. for panic. All right. So the first attack, I get three successes. I'm going to increase the damage. All right. So there's a, a huge gout of blood spray. And the second attack, I get two more successes. Wow. And it rends, you hear the, you hear the cracking of the sternum and uh, Sykes' head lolls back, his arm flies out, and it's almost like he's been, he's been separated as this thing kind of burrows down inside him with incredible speed, you know, faster even than you could turn to, to track it. So it's now horizontal on the floor on the torn and shredded 
remains of Sykes. Right. And the golden color of its tendrils is quickly darkening as Sykes' blood permeates it and it's being you know, ingested by all of the cilia all over its form. Oh, kind of like an inside out, like a small intestine. That's great. Yeah. Baxter. Great. Uh, everybody panic. Everybody panic. Oh, seven. Three plus Son four is seven. Oh, to... no. Three. No, no, wait, wait. It's three plus two is five. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. okay <laughs> so going to the state of panic. Uh, stress dice currently are what? The stress take... level of all friendly PCs in short yeah, range guess. increases by uh, yeah. one. Thank you. Hey, no problem, man. <laughs> oh, we're, we're coming up on the end of the yeah. time, so I'm not going to... Right. I'm not going to use that, but... Um, Let's okay. record our... You know, Baxter needs to record that seven mm-hmm. panic level for next time. Yeah. So Baxter, Light it up, yeah. man! Light it up! Son of a bitch! At least you don't have to worry about killing Sykes. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's exactly right, and I'm going. Uh, I'm I'm totally just enveloping Sykes and yeah, so the, the creature the, in first of auto fire. Now, Baxter, yeah. you and Kaminsky were not caught in the spray. You're the farthest right. away, so I'm giving yeah. I'm giving it cover of the security desk. The cover is only going to count as one die, but it's it's there. Okay, so it, it, it and that cover is when it's rolling against. Uh, that cover is I, I deal with. You don't have to. Okay, you know. that right. Okay, I got you. Okay, cool. So let's see then. So I am going full auto fire, Whoa. freaking freaking the hell out. Which I guess I, I, I believe I emptied my clip as well. I increased my stress by one just doing that. Yep. Yes. My stress my stress will now be four, but nice. as a result, I'm rolling fourteen plus four dice. Oh my god! <laughs> you know, eighteen so, dice. Yeah. Light only up. four, four, only four of which are stress dice. Yeah, so I'm just kind of blasting it like crazy. All right, here we go, kids. Battle run, eat your heart out. <laughs> okay. I've got one, two, three. Thank God there's no face huggers. <laughs> uh, three. Three. So that, that succeeds. So that's, um, and all those, I'm just going to apply to damage. <laughs> I don't blame you. No. So your base damage ah, it's just spraying around, <laughs> spraying around like I mean just I mean whatever parts of of uh, our observer Sykes's corpse are still intact or now not I mean just a, just a hail of hail of armor piercing bullets bullets just tearing him the floor or whatever right so what is your final damage total is that um, your final answer so your base damage well, smart- plus your success is minus one. Okay, so it's um, I guess it's five. I mean, smart gun is damage three, but wait. So the base damage is just a just a weapons base damage, right? So yes. anything else you add to that? Okay. We are good right, at math. So we are role players. There is, <laughs> there is a thin, wailing kind of shriek, very high pitched, almost on the upper limit of human hearing. It's almost it's easy to doubt that you even heard it at all, right? And a greenish blood spray in a fine mist coats the bland gray Whalen Dupani utilitarian wall behind it. And it starts, you know, scuttling for cover. Who goes next? That's uh, me, I think, right? Yep, on a three. I yeah, geek, geek's on a three. It's geek. Right. Shoot. Shoots them. Shoots them both. Shooty. Shoots the glass. All right. All right. So I am uh, three agility, two ranged combat, three stress dice. Does it have covers? All right. I don't worry about cover. It's on your side. You're you're on the. Uh, I got hit by the grenade side. So. <laughs> All right. So no face huggers. That's new. And a success. <laughs> And a success. All right. Yep. So base damage is two. I'm going to apply it to that. So three. 
You got one success. One success. Right. So that's that go that no, buys hitting. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, our our Star Wars uh, habit yep. will uh, interfere with us here. But all right, so oh, that's right. The yeah. first success is just Activates to succeed. Gun. It's yeah. the extra successes that extra you can buy extra like damage. For, that is good. Lands does it the same way. Yeah, yep. yeah. Um, fire your rifle just like you were taught. You know you hit it. Don't see much of a reaction. Jeez. Pulse driver's not pulse rifle's not hurting it. Next. Who's next? Sorry. Can't see the tracker. Uh is Rios. The hell is not hurting it. And I fire again. I aim and fire at it with my pulse rifle because of course I do. So because I'm aiming, I get two extra dice. That's right. Dice. And so I should have aimed. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Muy bueno. No, muy malo. <laughs> si, muy uh, malo. Because I got one face hugger right there. But I got two successes. Two so successes. let's roll panic first. Yes, to panic see first. If, you know, how that affects. Because otherwise, I have two successes. Uh, roll this one for panic. Here we go. Three plus three is six. So I keep it together. Keep it together, baby. And one of the successes scores the hit, and the second success goes to damage. So it's only three points of damage from mm -hmm. my pulse rifle. <laughs> so the, the thing is, you know, all of its tendrils are, are digging into the shredding flesh of of Sykes as it's trying to gain traction, but you know, all the viscera pouring out of Sykes, all the blood and, and fluid is, is losing it. It traction is trying to get away. So it's been hit twice. Now Baxter's uh, scored its back. You can clearly see that wound, but you can also clearly see that you did not penetrate. It's, it's hide. Right. Cause Rios, you're closest. Next Kaminsky. You're on mute, Sarge. I'm going to shoot in semi-auto. I'm going to aim because I'm far enough that I can do that. I have a one die range penalty. I mean, cover penalty. Cover penalty. Uh, yeah. So that's uh, six plus one from the rifle, seven plus two from aiming is nine minus one from cover is eight plus two stress dices. It's an almost, almost uh, <laughs> Baxter level pool. All right, I got three successes. Man. Almost so, Baxter is not Baxter. Right. So I'm going to try and do four points of damage with my armor piercing round. All right. If you hurt it, its waving tendrils obscure the damage, but you know you hit it. You're so close. You know you didn't miss it. You don't see any impacts anywhere else. All right. So it's its turn. <laughs> At 826. <laughs> <laughs> so it pivots and it shoots toward Rios because it's Rios and the hole in the ceiling. Right. Oh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> First action using Rios as a stepping stone. Oh, okay. Which means What's I'm your backup character's name? What? What's backup character? Character's I got name? two. I got two, man. <laughs> I'm all set. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. We have one success, which means I hit, but I need to make a panic roll because I've been hurt. Ooh. But not that badly. <laughs> and, Does it? Yeah. Hang on. I, okay. I need to.
roll a d6 for my attack. Ooh. <laughs> the lion worm goes full out for the kill, grasping its target and wrapping in the vicious death roll. Ouch! So it's wrapping around you. Do I'm I need to make to an armor roll? Hang on. Please? <laughs> Please! <laughs> Please! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you hear all these guys? Yeah. How does that sound? Gary. <laughs> One, two, three, oh, whoa. four. Against base. Minus one. Yeah. <laughs> Minus the one. The attack hits. The victim is grappled and disoriented. And you lose your next slow action. That's all true. Okay. On my next action, the lion That's worm hurt is me. going to begin to bringing the pain. Okay. You take four. So one. You take one. Okay. Do I roll armor on that? Or? Oh, yes. Right. You roll armor. Yes. Yeah, so roll yeah, your armor. You roll armor. Yep. It's even worse because I only get one, two successes, two successes. Okay, so you take two. Two, two, two damage. What's your strength? Ouch. Uh, four. Okay. So I'm halfway down. Right, and please. I'm, uh, say, say again so I can make a note here. I am grappled. Low action and you are, you're grappled. Right. Um, and disoriented. Grappled. So it's it's a little bit longer than a man, right? And a little bit wider than a man. And it was, you know, it, it swarms up over the security desk. It leaps onto to Rios. And then something about it, it just suddenly coils all the way around him, right? And so the inside tendrils are lancing into his armor. They're, they're getting in under the armor. They're, they're tearing his clothing. And they're probing for that hot, sweaty flesh beneath. And, uh, and because it's wrapped all around Rios, the two of you go down in a heap together. Well, sounds like a cliffhanger to me. <laughs> <laughs> because I'll, 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 I'll tell you what, it's, I'm, I'm up, right? Yeah. I'm, I, I went full auto fire, so I'm out of a clip. So my original plan was to use my incinerator so now I'm thinking to myself, I just yell, oh. he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> just, just unload, unload, you know, uh, unload napalm right at both of you. But that doesn't seem fair. That's I'm not that's dead okay. yet. <laughs> that's okay. I got I got Bear and Holden in the backup squad <laughs> right outside the building. <laughs> but it sure looks like he's dead. <laughs> Well, it depends oh on God. if he's screaming or not. I imagine get it off me. Get it off me. I'd like a well, this will. I'd like a panic roll, Rios. This will work, but uh, here we go. You won't like it. Oh nice, no! It's just somehow holding it together. <laughs> <laughs> That's only a four. So. Te technically, it's holding you together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, do we need to stop? I don't have a hard stop, um, which is a change of pace. It looks like Ivan might, though. I well, I can go for a little while longer. All right, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna, gonna go set a timer. I, move, so, <laughs> for five minutes. minutes. To five minutes. Right. Yeah. Now imagine if we had started at six thirty instead of seven, guys. Think <laughs> about how much more we would have played. Half an hour more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, I I do get two attacks but i've specifically rolled a specific attack which has determined uh my my course of action so i haven't forgotten the second attack but uh i'm oh, now okay. i'm now locked into a behavior so next up is baxter okay i'm guessing there's no real way to fire this incinerator unit and just hit it i'll probably, probably light them both up i will add armor to rios because there's more of it visible than there is him visible 
you're gonna hate this. I mean, <laughs> go for how, it. How, how so what the hell? I've got, I got, no, I've got no, uh, I've got no, you know, like I've, just, I've got no uh, thing. And, and, and microseconds count here, so I'm just gonna try to blast it with the incinerator. What the hell? How close am I to Baxter? <laughs> well, you know, am I? Cl- you're I mean, not, you're, like you're like you're mechanically side of, the, of the other side of the know? security oh. desk. Okay, How do you know so which trigger he's pulling? They're they're attached to each other. I just see you aiming the gun, <laughs> like I. So I'm mechanically nothing's going to happen, but I'm running, like with the intention of pushing Baxter's gun away from firing. Obviously, I'm not going to get there, but yeah. But that's what that's the hell good, are you? Good rivalry what's, note. What's yeah. the intensity on that, Ivan? Is it nine? It's nine once you're on fire. It's only two damage the first time around. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's two damage. That- all right, so uh, am I taking any penalties because of gravity or no? Or is that we not doing that? No, not, not for shooting, just for... Not multiple. for shooting, okay. Okay, so I'm freaking out. I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm already at seven, so of course I'm freaking out. Jesus, he's going to kill him. What the hell are you? Well, hmm. I got three successes and a face hugger. So panicking. I'm panicking. You, you rolled so panic first. Yeah. First, I'm going to roll yes. panic. And we're at a seven. That's good. Yes. That's good. And so five plus four is nine. Survey says. Survey says drop an item. Drop an item. What yeah, item I will get to I decide drop? what it is. Okay. okay right. But, but, but there is a note saying that for panic up to level seven, the original action may succeed if you roll successes. So if yeah, you yeah. succeed, you do it. Then you drop the gun or whatever it is. Yeah. So this, this fits in perfectly what the GM is, has decided. Uh, you will disengage the, the smart gun incinerator mm-hmm. uh, hookup that you have, possibly in horror at firing on Rios. All right. Uh, because, as you recall, the security desk isn't terribly tough, right? So it right. it erupts into flame. So there's a sheet of flame, you know, between you and Rios. The thing is is rolling around. the The incinerator spatters across the full length of of the creature with Rios inside, mm-hmm. and that horrible scream begins again, right on the the limits of of human hearing. Now. I've got these two extra successes. And so I'm thinking I should use one for damage and one to impress geek. But I'm thinking I might use, I might use both of them for damage. <laughs> and just go with the Thank four you. damage this time. <laughs> the four damage this time. Okay. So the, the cilia, you know, the tendrils, right? They react. Not the ones that are digging into you, Corporal Rios, but the ones on the outside of the creature, they, they shy away from it and it it rolls right away from from the fire and i will uh release rios okay so if it's four fire damage does the creature on top of me give me some extra cover from that fire because i do get to roll my armor yes it gives you two Two. All right. So here's my armor roll to resist on. four damage. Here we go. Oh, just one. I... So I take three. So I am now broken. Yes. So but beautifully I scream broken. plus on fire. On fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Now, at the security station, it's a security station. All the things that you'd expect to be there, like fire extinguishers, uh, are present. And that brings us to the end of the bonus five minutes. Rios on fire, released from the grip of the lion worm as we invest in and Yutani complex. Friends like these. <laughs> now, I'd like to point out, that I did end a session on inside a fire once, and I managed to live. That's However, <laughs> this is not this is not that game. <laughs> this, is game. This, this is not that game. Okay. Over. Awesome. Before, before we go, any thoughts about uh, a session of combat? 
it, it feels it. yeah it feels fluid it's it's um it's what i like about the combat in forbidden lands too it's just it's not a whole lot of figuring out you just grab dice and the, the dice make sense there's some nice consistency um and the number of dice so if you're like well what does cover give you know it's pretty consistent and stuff like i, I like <laughs> i like how this system handles combat but i, I was like a fan panic. Before alien. I, I think we we handled it well I mean, there were some good roles, but we managed to keep it together. And I am surprised to find the stress level only at three. Mm. Right. Yeah. So it's, you know, I can still theoretically, as long as you roll less than three, uh, up to up to three on the die. So you have 50% on that panic die to keep holding it together. So it's not that bad yet. Interesting. I, I have to run, yeah. unfortunately. Oh and so I, I, I like this, this defender. So we just don't know. I don't have to go to my next thing. So it's, you know, with a guilt that I've actually killed. Um, Rios. 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 We'll save I mean, that guilt know, for next session. We'll save that guilt for next session. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd, like, I'd, like, I'd like to point out, you know, that wasn't for ha I, I thought about it. No, no, it's hard. cool. It's cool. I thought about long and hard, and the guy, the guy's pretty panicked, and he's just, you know. No, it was, it was it he's, totally He's trying to, try to save his friend. He's like, oh, maybe that was a bad idea. Because it's, you know, bang, 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 heat of the moment. Holy crap, it's got him. Oh boy, that was a bad idea. Well, and you, saw, you going, saw what it did against Psych, right? So yeah. I mean, the, the He's idea die that die one way or the yeah. other. Yeah. So yeah. so wait wait before before we go, uh, I I I'm broken, so I get to roll in the critical injury table. Oh, yeah. oh we gotta injury. find out. Come let's on, let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on. And we'll find out. In fact, if I did here. kill him, is is there any? There's a 66. Is the amount of now the amount of damage D sixty six. So I'll I'll roll uh, red and blue, and you you read it red then blue. Red blue. Okay, okay so it's a twenty two. Oh, there you go. Broken oh, toes. Toes. Yeah, I was gonna Broke say. My toes, man. It's, it's the it's the leg, right? The leg was exposed, so he's got burning uh, around the foot, the calf, you know. And, uh... um, okay. So I'm camping next week. So we're. Uh, I'm out next week. I don't know if you guys That's already okay. have your second game lined up for next week or not, but you're camping. Okay, so two weeks yeah. of not knowing whether you know if Rios dies of that <laughs> nine fire damage next time. But this is camping the point and... where where we recognize that Corporal Rios is also our medic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I realized that from the there's... moment that the, the, that the politician <laughs> grabbed him, the lying there's... man grabbed him. The, yeah, so also, also, what's going through my head is that scene from Private Ryan. Tell us how to fix you. This guy is bleeding out from from the from the hepatic vein. You're like, tell us how I, I could use some more morphine. <laughs> now I, I do get to run Octung uh, next week. Right. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. We start to we we get to the campsite Tuesday, and uh, I'm running Octung on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then I'm running Deadlands Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Nice. You will have a lot of combat in your future. The, the, yeah. Sa sadly, the, the best we'll be able to do for Rios actually reminds me of another movie, Kung Pao Enter the Fist. N -n 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 oh, yeah. Neo. I mean, it's foreign. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Although, one thing I'll say before, before I, I leave, I was thinking about this a lot during our, you know, based on our discussions about like you know, what kind of traction does this game have over the long haul. And, you know, I know it's crossing the stream somewhat. But there, there's a lot of um, if you read something like Starship Troopers by Highland, you know, you realize that like a, a Marine squad like this in a similar type of universe, there's all kinds of weird stuff that these guys yeah. go and counter. And, and the fact that the, the Marines in the movie Aliens said, is this another bug hunt strongly implies that the Marines mm. it, 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 other you know, bugs. Yeah. There, there's other, <laughs> other things because it's just I mean, it might not be intelligent or just as as, uh, you know, uh, awful or, or indestructible as the alien the xenomorph is but there's there's other you know life forms in other worlds that that, that think that we are tasty and in, the, yeah. in my in in the events life events one of the life events i got was that i had to fight bugs with with melee weapons at some point okay yeah, yeah, yeah. So, cool. and, right. and i also right. dig the fact that it, it doesn't just like the game when you read the book and stuff like that. Um, and I haven't read colonial yet, but I bet it's even more so there, but even starting destroyer of worlds, like it leans into the politics and, uh, and just the kind of effed up world that, that we lit, that is, it's based in, which I, which is very cool. Very, very cool. And which is you know, of course, it's, on, it's based on Rome. 
<laughs> right but it's on it's on the but it's on the periphery in the movies right it's part of the world in the movies and drives the characters in the movies and i just love that they that they brought that into here too and and made a part of it so so you in the part where you were absent uh is where we got into a little bit of of that like who sykes is as Excellent. the observer and was. what the mission actually was <laughs> Yeah, I'll watch that recording. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, just uh, yeah, basic, basic uh, you know, um, uh, insurrection. You know, people got taken over. It was, it was like you know, they, they, they were, they were able to live free and lawless, and all of a sudden they got taken over by the by the corporates yeah. and they were engulfed by the. Uh, they were on the edge of the um, outside the frontier. Now they are the frontier and that kind of thing. And of course they're re responding. You know, it's just like Baxter in his third marriage when he realized you know he couldn't just do what he wanted anymore, and he and his ex-wife. You know, yeah ex-wife number three you know gotten all this you know so baxter has sympathy for these people <laughs> well, the, but the line, the, the line worm something all, all together I guess. the good thing is that uh, assuming the worm doesn't attack me again yeah. uh i am on fire so the first thing that we have to do is put me out of that was fire, fire, right? Hey, man, don't tell me how to play my character no no i'm, <laughs> I'm just saying there, there's a mechanical way to try that and yeah. if he gets put out then recovery can happen i mean this guy's not as dead as it sounds right uh you He's know so speed. which is a big question in this game when you first read right. the rules what's mm. survivability like now he's not doing so hot because he's crippled he's panicked pretty hot man he's pretty hot actually yes but uh but he's not dead by any means right mm. so so it's it, interesting. It, it does it does harken back to like you know old older games, yeah, including the ones we grew up with, where it's like you know what what is this wound really? Well, you know who can really say, right? You know? it, but it's not as lethal as it looks, I think. So there's a strong chance that he gets up. There's a strong chance he dies, but you know it allows yeah. cool scars, lethality in the moment, right? Like if the if there's a a chance for something else to happen, then a character can be dragged away and then recover to, and you can continue to play them and, and use them. Correct. But if the action keeps up, like if everyone is paired off with an opponent and they can keep hacking at you, then, then yeah, it allows know. for that kind of instant or near instant kills. That's kind of satisfying. Anthony, right. what, how do you, how do you like the random attack mechanism for the monsters? Um, I find it pretty interesting. There's a couple of tables that I think, um, probably should have been written differently. Like if I were to roll a bunch of ones concurrently for the same, mm. for the same creature, it's going to give me a, a, an attack pattern that isn't going to make a whole lot of sense. Um, oh, so, it, so it is automated to a degree. Are you yeah. rolling to yeah. determine which attack it does? And how much rolling? damage that's, and everything. That's pretty deep. Yeah. yeah so, so the monsters really feel different. Right. Oh, that's what this oh. does. But there are some there are some weird cases where there's a, there's some actions on the list that it would only do once. Mm. We got to do one other thing mechanically. You have to make a panic roll when suffering a critical injury. I just right. read that. That's true. Let's that's go. Because because uh, I was looking to see if you add anything Two. the more hurt you are. Plus Man, you three are, is five. I'm holding it together. Those. I'm on fire. My toes are broken. <laughs> <laughs> you are tough. You're the tough marine. Man. The no wonder you're, you're my buddy. Yeah, that's right. Wow. All right. All right, guys. I, I got got to run. Help somebody move. But yeah, it was good seeing everybody. Awesome. That was awesome. Thanks for playing. Uh, great session, man. Thank you. Excellent. Yeah, you're satisfied. Right. Take care. Uh, All this right. is awesome. Bye, bye, guys. <laughs> well, fun. Yeah, it was. I got the farmer rifle. Yes. <laughs> <Good> stuff, <man. laughs> yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.